what we are going to talk about today is uh, what we call a student journey. And our aim is to give you a clear view on what academic life is like here at Abbey College, Cambridge. Before we get into that, a quick introduction. My name is Andy Humphreys and I'm the Vice Principal Academic here at Abbey College, Cambridge. Uh, I know we have a mix of students, agents, sales team and other colleagues. So welcome to one and all. Hopefully uh, in the next 40 minutes or so, we will give each and every one of you something of value. And what we are going to look at today is we're going to have a brief overview of the college and a little bit of what we are and what we do. And then we're going to mostly be focused, as John has just kindly said, on how we move a student through their academic journey from when they join us to when they leave us and graduate off to university. So let's start with the who we are. At Abbey College Cambridge, we view ourselves as your pathway to an elite university. Now, much of this slide will speak for itself, but I'd like to draw your attention to a couple of key takeaways. Firstly, we're ranked seventh by the Government School Comparison Service in the UK for A-level progress. Our students make incredible progress from when they first join us to when they Sorry, it's just closing some notifications there. From when they first join us uh, and to when they progress onto university. And we're a non-selective school. We do not have very high entrance requirements, but the work that we do with our students and the growth that they achieve during their time with us really is outstanding. And this, this high ranking, this puts us very high in the UK as a brand that you can trust as a student or a parent or an agent to make great progress with your child. And you can be very confident when sending your child to us or recommending our college to your clients. And then from a non-academic perspective, and this is the only time I'll, I'll talk non-academically for the, for the duration of this session, one of the most important things for our students and for parents is that final bullet point. We have over 400 single ensuite bedrooms in absolutely fantastic boarding facilities in the heart of a beautiful, safe and world famous city. And these factors do all combine to make Abbey College Cambridge really stand out from the competition and deliver a fantastic service. Now that progress is going to be a, a key theme throughout the session and making good use of that fantastic progress. Most of our students then want to graduate from Abbey College Cambridge and move on to one of the world's best universities here in the UK or abroad. And indeed, many of our students arrive with the dream of joining Cambridge University and Oxford too, but we'll focus on Cambridge. We're a little biased. Joining these top universities is extremely challenging. The top universities in the UK are extraordinarily competitive, so our students must work smart to distinguish themselves in other areas of academic excellence. So it's important that Abbey College Cambridge provide a unique programme of elite university preparation to enable students to do this. And one of the key messages that it's important is heard, heard here today is that students must also take responsibility for academic excellence outside the classroom as well as in it. And students must take hold of the opportunities presented to them. You can see some of those opportunities on the slide here. I'll give you an example of just this week of students grasping opportunities. Just this week, we have a group of about five students heading down to the London School of Economics, one of the G5, that's the top five universities in the UK. They're heading down to the LSE to compete in a model United Nations event. Now, this same group of students, just to follow their student journey, this same group of students on their journey have competed now in three of these events already this academic year. And no doubt they will continue to do more because these students are in year 12. That's the first year available. One of these events was also at King's College. 
another phenomenal UK university, King's College London. And these same students are taking yet more opportunities by taking part next week in a Harvard public speaking event. These are the students that in a little over a year's time, I will probably be talking about as progressing on to some of the most wonderful universities, the top performing universities in the country and the world. And the students that take these opportunities look up from their books, virtual books, of course, we're proudly a 21st century digital school, and they spot these opportunities these are the students that will see the greatest rates of progress and the greatest successes moving on to universities. And this is something that we should recognize. Now, of course, it's fair to say that without strong academic results, hard work outside the classroom simply will not matter. And one thing that we are most proud of here at Abbey College Cambridge is our consistent high performance over time. Going back to this idea that this is a brand, this is a college that you can trust. We will deliver outstanding results year after year after year. And this is in large part due to that phenomenal progress that we've already mentioned once or twice. And the high standards of academic work in the school. And you can see that in the long term view of our A star to A grade rate at A level performance and nearly 70% of all students and all grades coming in at A star to A over time, not just once, but over time. Equally, our other mainstream programs of study, that's GCSE and our international foundation programs, all have market beating performances. And if I had more time, I'd go into even more detail in some of these because there's some phenomenal stories here. If we take our GCSE results, for example, from 2022, 80%, nine to six, fantastic. But within that, 50% of all of those results were between grades nine to eight. That's a star or a star star. That's the absolute top awards that can possibly be earned in the GCSEs. And 50% of our results were nine to eight. Absolutely fantastic. And of course, this wonderful performance, year after year, this leads us on at Abbey College Cambridge to some fantastic destinations for all of our students. Now, of course, here we, we are focused when we're talking about this on our A-level and our foundation progression to university. Of course we are. But for any younger students out there or parents or agents of younger students thinking about GCSE, this that you're seeing here really is the end goal. It's a four-year program that you should be thinking of at Abbey College Cambridge, joining us for two years of GCSE, joining us for two years of A-level to put you in the best possible position for university entry. And we'll talk later in more detail about our elite university preparation program, but you can see here an incredible one in four students on average progress to a top five UK university, the G5 group. And for clarity, the G5 is Cambridge, Oxford, Imperial College London, University College London, and the London School of Economics. You will also see at the bottom half of that slide, some fantastic progress being made by our foundation students, where nearly 40% of them all progress to Russell Group universities as well. And specific to the foundation medicine program, eight medic enrollments last year alone. Now, that's only a portion of our medicine program, and we'll look at our medicine program in greater detail later on. But last year, we had a huge 22 medicine offers, largely stemming through the phenomenal preparation that we provide that we believe is market beating. So, OK, enough of the overview. How do we actually do this work? What, how do we achieve these things? And therefore, what does student academic life look like here at Abbey College Cambridge? Well, our student journey begins before a student arrives with us. 
uh, what we call pre-enrollment. Now, nothing that happens and nothing that we do with a student before they begin their actual studies at Abbey College Cambridge determines the final grade or their eventual university destination, of, of course not. But what our pre-enrollment systems do, such as our gentle but challenging interviews, webinars like this one today, and our beyond the curriculum reading lists, what they do is set a tone. They set an expectation for high standards and for a commitment that students engage with learning outside of the classroom. This is, whilst not a directly contributing factor to an A-level result or a GCSE result, it is a key factor in the success of Abbey College Cambridge and it creates the culture of the college. Something intangible, but a living representation of our vision. And our vision here at the college is to be a community energized by the love of learning and the pursuit of outstanding achievement for all. And this is very important to establish a, a tone for that. Now the student journey continues on arrival and induction. And we continue to develop this expectation. And we continue to develop this culture when students arrive with us. And students coming into Abbey College Cambridge should expect to sit assessments in their first weeks at the college, what we call baseline testing. And we'll do this in a range of different areas. We'll look at not only baseline testing in the chosen subjects, so that we understand what a student knows now. We'll look at English language testing, because although many students will have been interviewed, or they will have had an IELTS test for their, uh, for their visa, we want to have our own understanding of English language mastery. And of course, we'll also want to have a nationally standardized cognitive aptitude test. And this helps us understand how you think and how you approach problem solving. Now, the results of this battery of testing are not designed to scare students. They're not designed to limit a student's ambition. Far from it. They support our ambitious students by equipping the classroom teachers with a better understanding of what a student knows, what a student knows now, how they approach that problem solving, and therefore how teachers can better adapt their lessons to student needs. And we believe very strongly in adaptive practice where teachers don't just deliver the same lesson week in, week out, where they adapt their practice to the learners sitting in front of them. In order to do that, we must understand the learners sitting in front of the teachers. And we can do that in part through this baseline testing. Now, of course, much of the student journey really is about what happens in the classroom day in, day out, as we've, we've kind of just talked about there. And we believe that with regards to what is happening in the classroom, we believe we have a responsibility to develop student skills, 21st century learning skills. We believe the future is increasingly digital for students. And we want to ensure that our students have the skills and a digital mindset to be better prepared than ever before for university life and for future careers, which will no doubt rely on digital skills. In order to do that, we work with global brand leaders, Microsoft, under their Showcase Schools program to continually develop and in some cases transform the education that our students receive. To transform education, we believe at Abbey College Cambridge that it, it is critical that all learners, teachers, leaders and staff have the ability and the capacity to continually evolve their methods and adopt new technologies as lifelong learners. And we believe passionately in this. 
and every single one of our teachers here at Abbey College Cambridge is certified by Microsoft as having the competence and the confidence to develop 21st century skills in our students. And this is not a piece of work that is finished. Our staff are continually learning and working with Microsoft to become better and better digital teachers so that they can provide your child with strongest possible skills to move forward with their lives after Abbey College Cambridge. In terms of a key takeaway from today, it's important to note for parents, students and agents that when you're joining Abbey College Cambridge, students will need a Microsoft capable device, typically a laptop. Many will bring a tablet. If it is an iPad, it will need to be an iPad Pro. And you will need to use a digital inking input device, a stylus typically, in order to uh, make best use of, of our technologies and our practices. Now, as students explore their subjects digitally in the classroom, let's have a look now at some of the things that are going on outside the classroom uh, for our students. And one of the first things that students will be exposed to and have the opportunity, there's that word again, that key theme, grasping opportunities, they'll have the opportunity to explore our extracurricular program. One of the first things is our Abbey Inspires series. Now, we're incredibly proud of this. This is a really interesting, fascinating offering at Abbey College Cambridge. It's another platform for us here to foster a love of learning and to deliver our vision for education, that community joined and energized by their love of learning. Now, what this is, it's kind of explained on the slide, it's a series of evening lectures, practicals, workshops, guest talks by industry experts that take place every evening of every week in the academic year. And students honestly will be spoilt for choice of fascinating things that are not part of their A-level, not part of their GCSE learning. And this is where the magic really happens because what we do through Abbey Inspires is create academic breadth, a range, fascinating topics that students can be intrigued by and go on to explore further and academic depth taking concepts that may be touched on in an a-level specification but not explored fully for example in the images here you can see in the bottom left you can see david shah delivering uh, a talk on the spanish armada absolutely fascinating period of history not covered by the A-level. In the top right, you can see Marie O'Keefe delivering one of the most popular talks of every year, which is a talk on the global financial crisis of 2008 to 2013, the effects of which uh, through Brexit and COVID that we're still feeling today. Highly relevant, fascinating, and not part of the A-level. Now, I mentioned that students would be spoiled for choice. Let's have a quick look at a, a selection of examples of things that have been running over the last week or so. Some really interesting, wonderfully varied ideas being explored here from why do people, psychologically, why do people develop eating disorders? To a discussion of whether quasars are in fact the key to the universe, unlocking and understanding the universe. Some really fascinating stuff. And we've been absolutely thrilled this year to see a number of students uh, representing uh, Abbey Inspires and actually delivering their own Abbey Inspires events. Powerful and a true example of engagement in the community by our students. And again, it's these students who grasp these opportunities that really will maximise the benefits of the Abbey College Cambridge journey. Now, the next element that our A-level students will encounter of our elite university preparation that's going to help them on their journey to a top university is a bespoke program that we call the pre-degree diploma. The pre-degree diploma will be selected in the first term of A-level study 
and will begin in the second term of A-level study. And the selection will be based entirely on an individual student's desired pathway at university. If a student wishes to pursue engineering, they'll join the engineering diploma. If a student wishes to join uh, or explore computer science at undergraduate level, they'll join the computer science pre-degree diploma. You get the idea. And the idea behind this is to, to do very similar things to Abbey Inspires, gain deeper knowledge and skills in areas that we're interested at for university. And it's outside of the curriculum. And in almost all cases, the pre-degree diploma explores undergraduate level concepts and cutting edge industry sector specific things that are happening right now, bringing it live into the classroom and discussing it, encouraging our students to discuss and critically think. Very powerful, very important skills for university. And we're very proud that the pre-degree diploma enables our students to stand out from other applicants at the most competitive universities. And whilst the pre-degree diploma has so far been focused on sector specific pathways, engineering, mathematics, computer science, economics. We also recognize that at Abbey College Cambridge, we believe every student is going to be a future leader. And we recognize that in every sector of industry, there is a need for leadership. We believe, as many of our parents believe, that Abbey College Cambridge students are the future leaders of whatever sector they go into. And we must therefore cater to their leadership need and develop their skills. So new for this year, we are running a pre-degree diploma in leadership. And this goes across all subjects. Any student in year 12 can join this program. And we're really excited by it. So we are using uh, an organisation called Ivy House to deliver a specific qualification, an award called the Ivy House Leadership Award within the pre-degree diploma for leadership. Ivy House are really, they're an exciting organisation. They work, their commercial business, their revenue streams come from working with industry leaders to develop the leadership, the future leaders in those organisations. You can see some examples below of the companies that, uh, that Ivy House work with. Google is there. So Ivy House works with Google to develop the future leadership of Google as an organization, as a global organization. And this is really where the magic happens for this particular program, because what Ivy House do is they take, they extract all of the learning from that consultation and that management training that they do with these huge global brands. And they've created this leadership award so that students can get on the fast track to leadership and can benefit not just from Andy Humphreys telling them what's good leadership or from one of their teachers telling them what's good leadership. This enables them, this program is amazing and it enables students to understand what good leadership is according to Ford, L'Oreal, Kraft Heinz, Google, places like this. And this is really exciting and it's being delivered to over 30 Abbey College Cambridge students this year and next year we're really excited, we're hoping to roll this out to a wider audience because we believe that every one of our students is a future leader and should benefit from this program. So another really exciting aspect of innovation uh, and, and support for student journeys going on at Abbey College, Cambridge. Now, one of the key parts uh, uh, to Abbey College, Cambridge is, of course, our location. And our location is very special. Many of our students join us with an aspiration to move on to Cambridge University. And of course, this is something that is incredibly, incredibly competitive. So it's only right that on our student journey, we support our Oxbridge, Oxford, Cambridge, our Oxbridge students through what we call our Oxbridge Candidate Programme. Now, the truth is getting into Oxford or Cambridge is really tough. Even if you have the grades that they require, which, of course, are the very highest grades, 
that you can get. And even if you have an excellent application, less than one in five students will actually make it through and secure a place at an Oxbridge College each year. It's very tough. And depending on the particular course that a student applies to, that can be as high as one in eight to one in nine getting a place. So what this tells us is that getting a star, a star, a star, a star is not enough. So what do we do to help close this gap and to increase the chances of our students getting into Oxford or Cambridge? Well, on our Oxbridge Candidate Programme, which is a selective programme and only a limited number of students can compete, can compete to get into, they will go through a series of knowledge building exercises as their first activity in year 12. And during this four month course, they will have a comprehensive reading list, not just of books, but of industry journals, articles, TED talks, uh, fascinating political uh, speeches that they will need to study and discuss with a mentor from an organization called Leading Education that we have carefully curated uh, this partnership with and developed a partnership with. And this mentor will be either an Oxford or Cambridge graduate, ex-admissions member, or current second or third year undergraduate student with Oxford or Cambridge. And these mentors will work with the students one-to-one -one and in very small groups to discuss the things that have been read and to extract key themes and understanding of these topics so that the students at interview have something fascinating and interesting to talk about. As we move through the student journey in the Oxbridge programme, students will then move on to an admissions testing section. In this admissions testing, students will take a test and receive coaching and feedback in between each occurrence. And over a period of three months, the students will take many admissions tests and receive much feedback and coaching on how they can get better at refining their technique. And for when we roll around to um, early November, of the second year of the A-level, when the admissions testings take place, the students will be able to score as high as possible uh, in, in those tests. The final phase of the Oxbridge Candidate Programme is uh, the interview preparation. And much like the admissions testing, our students will receive no fewer than 10 mock interviews with feedback before we reach the second and third week of December of the year when the Oxbridge interviews take place so that they will be very well prepared for walking into an alien environment, a challenging environment, and, and, and hopefully providing an outstanding set of uh, interview responses. Now, all of this is, is very difficult and, and it, it is on top of ensuring that students still are getting great grades. There is quite a high degree of pressure, which many students don't really understand or appreciate, and many parents and agents don't understand, but it is very highly pressured. And so we must support our students as well as we can pastorally and through our boarding systems, and we do that. Now, much of this work will also need to take place because there is only a limited amount of time in an academic year, it will need to take place as well during the summer holiday between the end of the first year of A-levels and the start of the second year. So the two months in the summer where students in many cases are off and relaxing, our Oxbridge students will continue to work all the way through the summer in order to stand the best possible chance of getting in. Now, arguably, even more competitive than uh, Cambridge or Oxford is getting into medical school and getting into medical school in the UK. Um, this is very challenging 
and we have built a very carefully constructed and quite intense medicine preparation program in order to help our students. At Abbey College Cambridge, many of our students aspire to medical school and they, they want to move on uh, to medicine in the future. So in order to help them on that journey, we identify medicine students almost immediately when they join us for A-level. We have a specialist head of medicine, Mrs. Sephra Day, and she spends almost all of her time focused on supporting medicine applicants get to university. In the first term of the A-level, Sephra, the head of medicine, will find and determine who are the new medicine students, who wants to move on to medicine. She will begin gently interviewing and talking with them to understand their aspirations, their past learning, and what any challenges or barriers might be so that we can help overcome them. And then from the January, the beginning of the second term of year one, students will be placed onto our medicine preparation program. And that medicine preparation program is six hours every week, starting in year 12 and continuing in year 13 of very specialized, very focused medicine prep. In order to make space for this in a student timetable, medicine students will drop to three A-level subjects, biology, chemistry, and maths, of course, and they will pick up this medicine prep as effectively their fourth A-level. And in the medicine prep program, they'll do all of the things that the Oxbridge program does. They'll build knowledge through extended reading and teaching. They'll have admissions testing and interview prep as well. But on top of this, there are very specific things that are required to support a medicine application. For example, we will support and ensure that all of our students get appropriate work experience within the NHS. We have the wonderful Adambrooks Hospital, uh, just half a mile away from Abbey College, Cambridge, and most of our medicine students are able to secure internships and work experience at uh, Adambrooks. They will also gain really important knowledge about the NHS and the healthcare system in the UK. So many of them, of course, coming from 50 or 60 international backgrounds, varied backgrounds from across the world, don't necessarily understand how the NHS works and the healthcare system in the UK works, but do aspire to work in it. And as such, this is a really important part of the process, as well as the fact that for uh, medicine MBBS undergraduate programs, a working knowledge of the NHS is important. This program has been very successful for us. It's coming into its third year now. And every single year, we see an increasing number of students move on to medicine. In 2022, in this last summer, we had a record breaking 22 medicine offers and 94% of all of our medic applicants got at least one interview. This was for both A-level students and for our foundation biomedicine program. Our foundation biomedicine program is absolutely wonderful. Now, many students don't want to progress onto foundation. They feel that they came here for A-levels, but actually the foundation program is designed specifically with careers in mind. And in many cases, is the best route for these particular career-minded students to get into their universities. So our medicine, uh, biomedicine foundation program is a really successful program and we're, we're privileged to, to be able to run it here. Now, all of this stuff so far has been really exciting. It's, it's the medicine, it's, it's leading education and Oxbridge candidate programs, pre-degree diplomas, Abbey inspires, digital education and 21st century skills, but there are some fundamentals. There are some basics of the student journey that we need to consider. Now, throughout a student journey at Abbey College Cambridge, we will regularly assess progress. Progress has been a big theme for today's talk and it, and it is really important that students 
uh, know what progress they are making. And it's important that students know how to make more progress or to increase their rate of progress. Assessment is the key to that. So our students are regularly assessed. Their classwork is marked every week. Their homeworks are set and marked every week. At the end of every topic, there is something that we refer to as topic testing. And this will, of course, happen at varied times, uh, depending on which qualifications uh, a student is, is studying. For example, in economics in year 12, there are 13 topic tests taking place at the end of each of the specific topics, whereas within business studies, there are only seven taking place again at the end of each unit. So these do vary and don't have specific times. However, we do have three major exam series every academic year, one at the end of the first term, one halfway through the academic year in February, and one at the end of the academic year. Now, of course, if you're sitting an A-level or if you're sitting a GCSE in that year, you won't sit the end of year exams because you'll be very busy sitting public examinations for uh, the, the, the summary of your qualification. And this information is really important to us because what it helps us to do is to, to better understand how a student can make progress and better understanding student progress and how we can help support greater rates of progress is something that we carefully manage and we hold what we call progression conferences at the end of each of the major exam periods to discuss and understand every individual student's progress at Abbey College Cambridge. As of right now, we're a school of 449 students. And at the next progression conference, we will discuss each and every one of those 449 students. We will understand intimately their rates of progress in all of their specific subjects and how we can best support them going forward. And it is the most senior team at Abbey College Cambridge that holds these progress conferences. Myself as the Vice Principal Academic, Dr. Carolyn Dunn, my Vice Principal Pastoral Partner, the House Masters, the representatives of each of the houses at Abbey College Cambridge, and the heads of department all have direct input into these progress conferences so that we can best support every one of our students on their student journey. And of course, it's all really leading to the final stage of the student journey at Abbey College, which is the university application process. The university application process for us uh, really has four discrete elements. Alongside the elite university preparation that we've already talked about, which is the pre-degree diploma, the Oxbridge program, the medicine program, and Abbey Inspires, we also have specialist UCAS advisors. I'm sure you already know, but UCAS is the platform through which all UK university applications are made. So that's why it's termed UCAS advisor. It's otherwise a, a university specialist advisor. And every student is assigned a UCAS advisor that is a specialist in their subject, the subject that they've chosen for university, and their UCAS advisor will stay with them from the very start of the university progress to the very end of the university process. Those UCAS advisors provide support and guidance to the student at every stage of that process. And in order to ensure that the UCAS advisors are well equipped, they understand the changes, for example, the changes to reference writing that's coming in the next cycle, the 2024 application cycle, we have a dedicated team that we call the directors of studies. And these are our university leaders, our experts, and they are focused their entire time on how to best support the university application process. And each UCAS advisor has one of these directors of studies as a kind of line manager and guide and guru that they can refer to uh, for specific questions and support. The final element of our university application process is something that takes place at the end of year 12 that we call the UCAS Fair. We believe that students come to Abbey College Cambridge really for two reasons. The phenomenal results 
which serve as a stepping stone to university and the fantastic university destinations that we have. Those uh, university destinations are enabled and supported through processes like our UCAS Fair. This is a really critical period of time for our year 12s. It takes place after the end of year exams and before a student goes home for the summer. And it's about a 10 to 12 day process. During this 10 to 12 days, there are no lessons for the students. The year 12 students will focus entirely on their UCAS application. They will start and finish their application. They will start and finish their personal statement, although that personal statement will already have begun in the pre-degree diploma that they've been working on for the previous two terms. And so much of the knowledge and the, the detail for their subject that they've been learning in the pre-degree diploma directly feeds into forming a theme for a powerful and unique personal statement. Throughout this UCAS fair, the students will also be guided through their university shortlist to ensure that they know which courses are available to them and not just looking at a generic top 10 list or ranking, they will be looking at which universities are best for their courses, which colleges at Cambridge or Oxford might best support a specific university course. And we will have a series of lectures, visits and career workshops also working alongside. Now, this might not sound super exciting to all of you, but to me, this is a critical part of the student journey because it means that when a student finishes year 12, the first year available and goes home for the summer, they can go home over that summer and focus on reading and consuming more knowledge, broadening or deepening their understanding of their subject. They can focus on getting an internship and work experience that they can write about, which will reinforce their personal statement when they come back. So that when they come back in year 13, there are small tweaks, refinements or improvements to make in their personal statements and their university application, not the complete process. Because in year 13, really only eight months long before the exams begin, the students must be fully focused, laser-like focused on getting the best possible results in their qualifications and not distracted by a university administrative process. So it's really important that that's done because strategically in the big picture, this helps facilitate the student journey to the best possible university. Now, doing all of the things that we've just talked about at the same time is really challenging. And a student journey at Abbey College Cambridge is ambitious. And we appeal to ambitious students and we support ambitious students. But that support is critical. And that's why, as part of our vision, we believe so strongly in being a community. A community energized by the love of learning and the pursuit of outstanding achievement for all. But a community, first of all, because a community is a family. And a family supports one another and helps one another through their journey. And just like this little child at the, the foot of the stairs here, it's really important that on our journey, our students are able to just put one foot in front of the other and just take the next step. And it is our job to ensure that the students can do that. And that's what we do here at Abbey College Cambridge. And that's what we do so well. So I'm going to finish there. Uh, thank you very much for listening. And I think uh, John will move on to uh, Q&A if there are any. Yes, thank you, Andy. That was uh, really insightful and really interesting to hear that kind of academic journey and how we help students get to top universities. Um, we have Andy for a few more minutes. He's very busy, but we have him for a few minutes. Um, so if you do have any questions that you would like to ask, um, please post them in the Q&A or on the chat and I'll do my best to put them to him. Um, I, just a couple of little things 
just to pick up on from, from, from your presentation, you talked about the pre-degree diploma and, and kind of how students can almost choose kind of a subject area that they're interested in studying in university. The quick question I had was, can students or do you find that students often change between PDD, PDD subjects? And, 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 and if so, how, how does that process work? Uh, they, they can and they do. Uh, typically, most of our students join us with um, quite a clear idea in their head of what they want to move on to uh, as in terms of a future career. That may be one that's been discussed for over a long period of time with families or one that the students have been uh, putting together themselves throughout their educational career. Sometimes students find that actually, once they've begun the pre-degree diploma, what they thought they wanted to do isn't really what they wanted. And we do have the ability for the first few weeks, certainly, we run this for the first half term of the pre-degree diploma, so it's about six weeks. They can move in between the programs to kind of get a sample and a flavor of different careers uh, that might actually help them, you know, better define what they want to do. So we, we absolutely can and we do. It's not super common, but it, but it definitely happens. Yeah, and I think you, you, you touched on it there in terms of it's about understanding the career isn't it you know in terms of your yeah. if, if you're going to go down this journey this route it's going to be the rest of your life so it's important to yeah, help yeah. make the right decision and i think it's really Absolutely. important that you have that, that exposure um you talked a little bit about the leadership pdd which i think is really interesting do students do that on top of an do they do that as an additional pdd subject or is it standalone i just wanted to pick up on that uh this year it's being run as a standalone so they 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 will choose to do the pre-degree diploma in leadership and that's currently operating under our business management uh, P degree diploma. That's why it's currently limited to 30 students. As I suggested in the in the presentation, it's something that we're we're so excited about and we're so passionate about that we really do want every student to have this opportunity because we think it's so powerful. And, and I, I do genuinely believe it. I know that most of our listeners may believe that it's just sales speak for me, but it, but it, it really isn't. I, I do believe that all of our students are future leaders and and, and we need to facilitate that. So it's going to be uh, broadened out in the future. Brilliant. Thanks, Andy. It sounds really exciting, um, you know, in terms of giving students that opportunity to, to develop leadership skills, which is so important, as we know, um, alongside the academic ones. Um, the Oxbridge Prep, um, the Oxbridge Candidate Program, I should say, um, you talked a little bit about being more of a selective program, obviously, because of the yeah. pressures of application and that journey and the extra workload. Um, what is the selection process? Obviously, students can apply to it, you know, or they can at least flag that they're Oxbridge candidates beforehand. But when they get here, how do we how do we do that selection progress, uh, you know, process in college? So in the first term of the A level, we will um, raise awareness of this program. So I, I will have assemblies with the students and we'll discuss that this is something that we offer. Uh, and we'll outline that if students are interested in applying to Oxford or Cambridge, that they, they really need to be part of this program. Uh, so that we can best support them in their in their journey to those ambitious universities. Once a student has identified that they wish to be part of the program, the selection process begins. The selection process begins with the first end of term exam. That's in December of the of the first term of the A level, and it finishes just uh, well, at about a week and a half's time actually, uh, when the student results are in uh, for their mid year examinations. So it takes nearly a full term. It's, it's a very rigorous process. And what we look at is student performance across those two data points, those two examinations. Students also write a letter of application uh, to the college, uh, which is reviewed by senior college members like myself, uh, principal, as well as uh, leading education, our, our specialist partners. They also sit um, a mock admissions test in either humanities or a STEM subject, depending on where their area of interest is for Cambridge or Oxford. And we compile a ranking effectively of students that are most able to maintain their grades in the classroom and deliver on these extras. Because you, you mentioned it actually there, John, this is a really challenging process and the workload is intense. So it's selective only because we really do care for the well-being of our students and, and some of our students will, will simply not be able to cope with the rigours and challenges of, of an Oxbridge application. Brilliant. Thanks, Andy. No, that really does. Um, just to go into a bit more detail on that there. Um, 
I think I think we we've kind of obviously answered all the questions in the, in the presentation. We've done such a good job. So um, <laughs> I think what we can probably do now, if, if if no one has any more, um, and you can always send us questions afterwards when we get in touch with you as well. Obviously, we're able to chat after the event as well. Um, then we'll sign off and say goodbye. Um, so thank you from me. Thank you, everybody. I'll let Andy say goodbye as well. <laughs> Thank you all very much for your time today. I know you've listened to me for a long time, uh, but hopefully it's been really useful and hopefully everyone can take something away of value. So thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Fantastic. Thanks, John.